Hello and welcome back to my poetry and literature channel. Today we are going to be reading some Ruby Archer. She's one of my favorite poets, but if you've never heard of her, I totally understand very little is actually known about her. We know she was an American poet who lived from 1873 to 1961, clearly well-traveled, well-educated. She was a poet. She contributed works to papers and magazines. I, if I'm correct, she did some translating work with like French and German. This woman is amazing and we know so little about her. One day though, I will figure out where she came from and more details about her life because she has impacted my poetry life so much. Ah, my baby. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Okay, quick interlude. Oh, this is my baby. Her name is Meringue and I'm sure she will make a lot more appearances on this channel. You're going to cover the mic, baby. Oh, isn't she so cute? <laughs> oh, yes. I'll be done in just a few minutes. That's Meringue, my, the love of my life. That's, that's the love of my life. She will be around. <laughs> she, she will be around. You'll see more of her. Anyway, back to Ruby Archer. I don't even remember where I was, so we are just going to jump right in with reading some poetry. We're going to start with one poem today titled Roots and Earth. It's one of my favorites. Ruby Archer has this amazing way to talk about philosophical subjects in a tangible way and she writes a lot of beautiful poems about nature and about love and about community and she has this way of making you think but her writing isn't pretentious. A lot of older poets or older writers, their writing, you can tell, is like it's very full of itself. Like they are really smart and they want you to know it. Whereas Ruby Archer's work is very approachable and she it's like she's on the same level as you. She doesn't assume she knows more than you and she just wants us to think deeper about the world that we're in. Here we go. Roots and Earth. Poor, pitiful race of unthinkers. We shrink from the roots of things, fearing defilement of fingers, meeting the earth where it clings. We go through life always plucking visible blossoms of words, careless of what lies beneath them as the honeybees or the birds. We want the flowers for garlands. If truth of the dust be espied and the roots of thought follow our plucking, disdainful, we fling all aside. A plant cannot bloom without rootlets and roots cannot live without earth. No more can our words be enduring if thoughts have not truth for their birth. My favorite parts of this poem are the opening line and the final stanza. Poor, pitiful race of unthinkers. I mean, what, what like, it's almost like this whole poem is kind of like a mic drop for me. It's just incredible. She grabs your attention with the first line and then the very last stanza, she's like, wait, we need to be thinking more carefully about our words, especially if we want them to mean something. Anyway, that is a small taste of Ruby Archer and what's to come. She has this whole section that I'm in right now. I mean, I've had this collection for like three years and I'm only halfway through it because I want to like savor her poetry. And the section I'm in right now is all about Italy. And this woman loved Italy and she knew how to write about it. I've never been to Italy, but I mean, it is, it's wow. You guys are in for a treat. You don't even know it yet, but if that, if Roots and Earth piqued your interest in any way, look up some of her poetry online and wait for more of the videos that I'm gonna post with Ruby Archer. She is one of my favorite poets, I, truly, truly. I mean, I study her poetry to practice different meters and different structures, and like she doesn't do the same thing every time. She mixes it up and, and it's just, anyway, I am, if Ruby Archer has one fan, it is me. Thank you for joining me for one of my favorite poets. Next time, I think I'll be reading, well, I'm not sure what I'll be reading next time, but keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you guys know when the video is up and I will see you then.